I'm Karen Ivan, and welcome back to Hollow Hollow, your one stop for all things entertainment and lifestyle for Asian Pacific Americans. Our guest today you may recognize from the film, Christopher Nolan film, Inception, and he is currently in the number one movie, Teenage Mutant Ooh. Ninja Turtles, as Shredder. And you actually had to keep your character a secret, right? Mr. Tori Masamune. Toru, yeah, Toru. yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, they chose him. <laughs> Toru, I'm the so sorry. Toru yeah, no, no, no. Masamune. That's, 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 I'm here in my life, but yeah, yeah, I did. That was part of the deal, yeah. you know, and, and, and uh, it was kind of uh, interesting. So I guess you're very good at keeping secrets. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I told, told you know, told my mom. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you gotta tell your mom. Yeah, I told mom, <laughs> and then you know, told you know, immediate family, yeah. and, uh, and uh, you know, a few close friends. Right. It's, little, it's hard. I don't know. I mean, yeah. it's not like it's a really a. a, a, a it's a weird secret to have. Cause it's not like it's embarrassing or something you're right. ashamed of. Yeah. It's, it's a, you know, it's, it's, it's something you're definitely proud of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but but it's sort of strange. Yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a very strange secret to hold on to. Yeah. Um, and actually, toward as the movie approached, because mm -hmm. um, obviously this is a huge part of my life. Yes. And I actually I didn't go out the last two weeks because oh, I said wow. you know what. I, you know, I, I can't hang today, yeah. you know, because I didn't want to, you know, because I know yeah. I'm going to want to bring it up, which is, hey, what's going on? Exactly, what's going on? <laughs> okay, so let's yeah. talk about how you told your friends and family. Well, you know, I did the, the, the courageous way, and I posted an article, so I told, <laughs> I told it to the media. <laughs> that's what awesome, true, I want that's to high-five what, you right now. <laughs> that's what true friends do. Uh, well, yeah, it was one of those things that, yeah. you know, yeah, see, I'm not, you know, because I, I did try to disappear yeah. for a bit, and okay. I said, no, this is why, this is what's going on, mm -hmm. so. I think most of them forgive me. So. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles guy? Yeah. Well, it's funny. I was I was um, from New England. You know, I was oh. in New England at the time. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's funny. At the time, it was just, I, I always thought of it as kind of this weird local phenomenon because these right. guys were like Western Mass and mm -hmm. you know, and, and New Hampshire and all that sort of stuff. And, and I remember actually really just hearing that for the first time. Yeah. And it was just, yeah, I, I do have those moments where when I first heard Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, dude, I can't what? check that out. Yeah, and, uh, and it's funny, so I, I, I recently I, also, I thought of it as sort of a local phenomenon, and I, uh -huh. obviously it just really grew and grew and grew, and here's, here's a weird coincidence, mm -hmm. is that, um, you know, I moved to L.A., in my acting class, um, Judith Hogue, who was the original April O'Neil. Oh. And I was in acting class for seven, <laughs> seven years, and we're, you know, we're still good friends yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> and she's been off shooting Nashville, so I haven't really been able to connect. Uh huh. And uh, I left her a message. I said, "Wow, because." I have the craziest coincidence for you. <laughs> he said, you'll die. And then she said, I'll be back next week. I'll give you a couple. So I don't know if she's figured it out. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure she has. Yeah. Now, did you have your own view of what Shredder would be like? Or well, how you would portray Well, here, it? here's the interesting thing. And that, th this is the hard part, I think. And the good the good part and the hard part is that, you know, popping into, you know, an established character, yeah. especially a big, iconic franchise like this. Right. Uh, I think you can fall into a lot of dangers because I think, you know, as an artist, you really shouldn't ever just imitate, you know, right. this is no fun, who wants to do that anyway? Yeah. So I think the challenge was, um, and maybe I'm evolved enough as an actor now to just mm -hmm. allow it to evolve, mm -hmm. and uh, it was very, you know, it's almost like that, to me I kind of, these days I've been going, going very much with that sort of David Mamet philosophy of you um, invent nothing, you deny nothing, uh -huh. and it's all there, and the great part is that, you know, I actually been doing 30 years of homework on this role, oh, you know, wow. well, you know, I mean, you <laughs> yeah, know, just, it, just as, on, on, you know, yeah. yeah, subconsciously, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, you know, and, and, you know, obviously, but I just saw whatever comes out, comes out, yeah. and interestingly enough, like after the first day, of, and the first thing I shot was with, with William Fitzner, and he's just, he's just, Awesome. I, mean, I can't even describe it. Like, it was like a master class in acting. I don't know what he does. I, I think he gives me the creeps. Oh, when I no. see him, right? I, get, I get goosebumps. So like he oh, he, yeah. It's amazing. And as an actor, and I thought, you know what? At some point, I was pushing some things. And I think, you know what? I'm just going to let this happen. Uh -huh. and it, just can't, it was just the first take. Oh, it was fantastic. And finally, you know, because everything's so crazy on yeah. set, you don't have time for really elaborate conversations. Right. And, the director described it, and it was exactly what they were looking for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, sort of more the, you know, this kind of, um, you know, because, you know, because Eric Sachs is kind of the outgoing, the, that part of the right. face of evil, and I was sort of more the, you know, you know, introverted, you know, uh, you know, reticent character, yeah. and it just worked out that way. It really wasn't planned or anything, okay. and and um, there was a point where we were actually into post and ADR mm -hmm. late, and. We were just joking because I said, oh man, it's really hard sitting in this, the shredder zone, and, which it was. It was oh, really hard. Oh, well, you know, I mean, yeah. I, you know, you, right? Yeah. It was hard. I, it, was, it took a lot of work, and so we'd have, you know, they do take over, and oh man, I'm going to get to go there again. 
I turned to the, um, we did something, and I said to the post person, uh, saying, wow, it's hard string just staying in the shredder zone. And she goes, yeah, because it's kind of an intense place. <laughs> and I'm going, and finally, I, we did this other thing, and I heard the playback, and I go, oh my god, shredder has a personality. <laughs> and, 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 like, 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 somehow he evolved, you yeah, know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, like, I didn't plan this, but all of a sudden, there existed this, yeah, this, this actual person. This person, and <laughs> Not then just and, this villain. and the post person goes, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, he definitely has a personality." <laughs> and but it was really wonderful, very rewarding as an actor because yeah. uh, I, I, I don't know how much I had to do with it. I just right. kind of well, hello. Well, you know, <laughs> oh, okay, you're so humble. <laughs> well, yeah, but you know what I mean. But it did yeah. just sort of come up here, and, yeah, and it, was, it was a wonderful experience as an actor. Yeah. Really. Yeah. I, I want to start working that way a lot more now, actually. So you've actually, I read somewhere that you wrote and produced your first film when you were just in the fourth grade. Oh yeah, I do remember that. But it's it's interesting because yeah. you did a lot of productions as you were growing up, but you actually went to MIT. I did. Tell me a little bit more about. <laughs> I want to know how yeah, you know the process was. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird. I'm still trying to figure that one out. Uh, I, I know my parents are, uh, but uh, the. the um, well, I came from a, a family, like a couple of generations of, of serious, serious right. scientists. My, my yeah. grandpa was actually a, a this famous, yeah, the very well-known chemist in Japan, and my dad was one of his top students. That's how my mom and dad met. Right. So I would spawn this, so I was just in this crazy <laughs> science math family. So it was kind of the way, uh, just the natural like, order of yeah. things. And I, you know, I love math and science, so it was, mm -hmm. and it was, it, it was an amazing place. I. It was a great education, so right. so um, so that was all good. But I was really growing up within that context of all these, you know, scientists, mm -hmm. mathematicians. You know, everybody takes their identity, and I was kind of more the artsy guy. And that was my my <laughs> yeah. shtick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Within the family. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. It's, it's tough being an artist in a, an Asian family, right? So you're like, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, what it was, and I think I, sometimes I sort of blame it on my dad in a sense because he was saying. Um, and he just loved science. I mean, he loved uh -huh. he 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 just loved it, and um, and uh, he used to always say, um, "I'm one of these lucky people whose um, profession a little bit in, uh, also happens to be my exotic. hobby," okay. which um, which was Able? one of those things that I think to be honest, come back to haunt him when <laughs> his son said, "You know what? Thanks, Dad. <laughs> yeah, that's not my actor. hobby. Wait uh, a minute. <laughs> I'm going to become an actor. Thanks, Dad. That's a great advice." So. So there yeah. was part of that. It was, you know, was, it was uh, tricky, um, but but you know, uh, and I had, you know, I had some really creative friends in right. college. I mean, uh, MIT. There's, there's a lot, there are a lot of very. I mean, it's a very creative place. Creative. A lot of people don't realize yeah. that. Yeah. Um, so. You know, just kind of these crazy, wacky, genius <laughs> artists. You know, and uh, and so so I, you know, and I did have one friend. I remember at the end of the college, saying, you know what? And he wanted to go into music, mm -hmm. and I was shocked because he had studied. I think he studied architecture, and he said. You know, I was thinking of going Girl. to something, you know, I never thought right. of the idea of going to something different from different. what you studied. Yeah, exactly. But, you but know, a lot of people I'm do, and we're so glad that you, you know. did. No, thank you. <laughs> thank, yeah. you. Thank, you. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you so much <laughs> for being here today okay. and yes, telling yes. us a little bit more about your role as a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Thank you very much. <laughs> Don't forget to catch TMNT. It is actually in theaters now. We have more entertainment and lifestyle news, so we'll be back.